Gustave Courbet's paintings of the shorelines in Normandy portray the land as subject to continuous, if gradual, change. Here, he focuses on a single large rock at the edge of the water. Smaller rocks around it and the several just visible above the surf imply an ongoing process of erosion. Applying his paint with a palette knife in broad, rough patches and strokes, Courbet evokes the wind-blown clouds and the coarse texture of the rock giving them equal visual and material weight. Corbet, you see, fancied himself as something of a rebel, sometimes figuratively and others literally. He began many of the trends we saw with Manet and Cezanne, such as breaking away from the salon system or questioning the traditions of academic art. This makes Corbet not only one of the first modern artists in terms of his art, but also something of a first in the particularly antagonistic political role his works play. Corbet occupies an important place in 19th century French painting as an innovator and as an artist willing to make bold social statements through his work. Corbet's paintings of the late 1840s and early 1850s brought him his first recognition. They challenged convention by depicting unidealized peasants.